friends welcome back to my channel and Merry Christmas totally kidding but it is November 1st which means Halloween is officially over and in my head that means it is Christmas time Christmas season is my absolute favorite time of the year so I like to start celebrating as early as humanly possible I know we still have Thanksgiving left but my little heart says it's Christmas time so with that being said that means I'm officially decorating for Christmas and there's a couple things that I need to buy. I am still using pretty much all of my decorations from last year. I just reuse them all every single year because there's no reason to buy all new decorations every single year but I did move from a apartment to a townhouse so I have a lot more house to decorate this year. I have more rooms to decorate. I have a dining room now which my dining table is getting delivered next week. I also have like a new entry table that I want to decorate which I'm kind of hoping to decorate kind of like my mantle and hang my um, stockings off of but I need some decor for the top of it. I also have my own office this year slash reading room which in years past me and Nathan always shared an office so I never decorated it for Christmas besides just like a couple tiny little things but now that I have my own office I want to make it like super super cute and Christmassy in there I also just got some shelves delivered that are going up behind my reading chair and so right now I have no decor for there at all even for like just regular all year round decor that I want to put on there so I want to get some regular decor but also just some cute little Christmas like trinkets to put up there and I am so excited there is so much to do I'm also not sure if I want to decorate my front door at all again I used to live in an apartment so all I have as far as front door decor is like a holiday wreath which I love and I plan on reusing it but I didn't have anything else up by my front door because I didn't want to annoy all my neighbors with it but now I have it's like a tiny little front porch area there's not much space there but it's definitely more space than I had before and it's completely separate from my neighbors so I feel like you know I might want to put a couple more little things up there might get like a front door welcome mat or I don't know just something I don't know if I want to put lights out either because there are like railings by the front door I also have my back porch that is completely open to kind of like the street the way that my townhouse is set up is weird but I have a back porch that you can see from the street so I don't know if I want to decorate back there I don't really go back there too much so I don't know if I should put too much effort in decorating it but also we are about to get into the season here in Orlando where it gets a little bit cooler outside so who knows maybe I will be spending some time out there so have a ton a ton of decor that I want to look through and just see what there is I have some inspiration so essentially the majority of my house and the decor I already have is very much like your traditional Christmas like warm lights red white greens so I kind of want to stick to that maybe just add a little bit more whites in so have a couple of like Pinterest and inspiration so this is kind of like the vibe that I'm going for as far as like new decor just very white clean pretty I also really love that just really pretty really like nice white Christmas especially since here in Florida we don't get to have that we're here at Hobby Lobby right now that's our, gonna be our first stop but we also plan on going to Marshalls Ross Target uh, just all the places but we're just starting here because Hobby Lobby keeps advertising that all their Christmas decor is already 50% off and it's the start of the season so figured this might be the best place so that we're not spending a million dollars on decor but I'm waiting for Tamia she's gonna be here in about 20 ish minutes she got stuck in some traffic and then we're gonna go and do some shopping so yeah everything's on sale already Hobby Lobby was such a good place to start because I showed you guys the inspiration picture of what I want for my dining table and they have so many garlands to pick from I had to get a second cart because me and Tamiya's garland literally took up the entire first cart already. Okay, so I have a new entry table and I was looking at all these little baby Christmas trees. I was looking at this one, but this one is still a bit expensive. But this boy is still super cute. She's really sparkly. The camera doesn't really pick it up too much, but it's only $18 before the 50% off. So I think I'm gonna grab this one. They have a ton of pink Christmas stuff, but I'm also really liking these little baby gold trees for my shelves. Not Tamiya literally saying she's gonna need another cart already. <laughs> Do we like her? I don't know where any of this is going at this point. I'm just buying decor. I've lost all senses of the plot. This is literally three dollars. Okay I decided to switch for the little one just because it's I like the size of it better for the shelves that I'm putting it on. And it's only four dollars before the discount so it's gonna be two dollars for it. I already have some of these that I bought from Target uh, a couple years ago, but these ones are so cute. They light up and they're only $18 before the 50% off. So they're super cheap. So if you've been looking for houses, if you'd like to do a Christmas village, Hobby Lobby. 
I don't know if you guys can tell, but this entire half of the store is just Christmas decor. They have so much here and everything is 50% off. I kind of like these. I just don't know where I would put them. One thing I want to do that I really haven't been thinking of is I want to swap out the little knickknacks that I have on my bookshelf and make them all Christmassy. Right now I have a little Halloween bat on there and a couple other just like things that are there year round. But I do want to swap them out for Christmas stuff. So I need to start keeping an eye out for that because I've not been looking at all. I'll also have to come back once I decide what my Christmas wrapping for this year is. I always pick a theme and then I always do bows around all of my Christmas presents. So they have so many ribbons here. So I will have to come back once I make a decision on what my theme is for this year. I'm liking these little baby ones for the bookshelf. I don't know though if I should do white or if I want to incorporate some pink here and do something like this. Now I said earlier that I was doing not warm and doing fun colors in the office, but now that I've gotten that gold, I'm kind of changing my mind. So I don't know, I might do the white instead. Actually, just kidding. Something about it just gave me the ick, so we're not doing that anymore. I do really love this gingerbread pillow for my office chair, but I don't know. I feel like I'll be able to find a bigger one somewhere else. So I don't know if I should get this one or not. Give you guys a full haul once I get home, but this is what we're looking like for Hobby Lobby. I just have to. <laughs> just dropped everything off at the car. Now there's a Marshalls and a Home Goods right next to this Hobby Lobby, so can I head over there and see what they have? All right, so these are actually connected, so going to the home side. We've been looking for mini Christmas trees for the office especially, and we found this one that isn't too bad, but it's $100, and Amazon has some cheaper ones that are pre-lit, so I think I'm just gonna order one from there. I need pillows for both my office chair and my downstairs, and they have a lot here, but I don't know if I love anything particular. What is this? Interesting. So I think I'm getting these but they are beautiful. So if you're looking for a simple Christmas pillow, this is where they're at. You guys, this is a full candle. This is a whole wick here. I was so confused because on the bottom of it, it says there's like a burning warning and I was, I fully just thought this was one of those like little light up houses, but no, it's a whole candle. I do have quite a bit of cute things here, but in true home goods fashion, you have to dig around to find it. Okay, I found the set of three little white Christmas trees that I think would be perfect for the table. And the set is only $10. I tried to get a cart for Tami and I because we're already running out of hands, but a shared cart so that we don't overbuy. And there's literally no carts available at all. That is how packed this one store is. Everything is, at least all the Halloween stuff is on sale. So I have a feeling that's why a lot of people are here. But yeah, it's like fully packed in here. You guys, do I get my cats a Christmas tree? The only thing is that there's no price on it. So I have no idea how much it is, but like I'm kind of obsessed with it. They also have this one, which is also super cute. Okay, we decided our next stop is gonna be Target. It's only about 10 minutes away, and that one is probably the most expensive store we'll go to today, but it just made sense in the map to go there first and then come back down, because the last store we wanna go to is called At Home. I've never been there before, but we saw some cute stuff on TikTok that they had, and hopefully we'll make it before it closes, because it does close at 10, it's already seven. We wanna do Target and Walmart before we go there, so we'll see, but we're gonna go to Target next. It's about 10 minutes, so let's go. Ta-da, Target, my favorite place. Also, look how dark it is already. It's only seven o'clock, this is so crazy. Obviously, we'll be getting a cart here. Either the full-size playground has already been fully picked over or they just don't have too much Christmas stuff out yet because it is pretty empty over here. They do still have some Thanksgiving and Halloween stuff out, but I think my goal for Target, though, is to find some more of those little white Christmas trees for my table and then maybe also a blanket and I also need some gold candlestick holders for the table as well and I feel like I need to figure out how I want to finish decorating my entry table because I bought the one Christmas tree at Hobby Lobby but I don't really have anything else to go there I feel like it needs like some candles or I don't know something else I also want to get some just coffee table books that can stay there year round so maybe we'll find some of those here too are you guys seeing all of this you guys, these are only $10 and these baby ones are $5. Okay, I'm grabbing two of these little trees to complete out the table. This little tree is so cute, but it's $40. Why do I like this? Someone tell me I'm wrong for liking this. $20, she's kind of cute. Absolutely love this. It's $25 though. Look at this pillow for the reading chair in the office. How much is it? I think it's $20. I don't know though. $20 for a pillow this small? $20? Oh no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't no. know. I don't think so. Get it off Amazon. I feel like if it was bigger. Okay, so I have one of these in my house that currently just has some fall foliage in it. I'm thinking we do something like this plus a berry on it. 
Obviously the berries are closed, but do we like that? I think that could be cute. I'm so sad. We saw these pillows and it was like tucked in and I thought it was much bigger, but she's so cute. If only she was like literally this much bigger, I would get it. Okay, found some more little Christmas trees. These are only $10 again. And since the other ones we got from Hobby Lobby are sparkly, I think I'm gonna switch to these. Do you like this? I can't decide. She's not that soft actually. Found some gold ones. I like that these are all different heights too. That'll be cute. Okay, going to look for Christmas books. I already have Kiss Me at Christmas. I bought this like a month ago. Probably going to try to find another one. Maybe Christmas reading vlog coming soon. We have a Tessa Bailey one. I've read two other Tessa Bailey books before. And I'm pretty sure I like them. So maybe I'll get this one. I was trying to find the Lucy Score Christmas book. I really do like her as an author. Apparently there's Target exclusive content. Although I hate that the sticker's on here. Just kidding. This one has a fake dating trope. And that's my favorite thing ever. So might have to go with this one. Okay, so the one thing that I'm most definitely missing is I need some uh, green uh, ornaments. And I was hoping to find some like wooden green ornaments. So it was a little bit more organic rather than these shiny ones. And I thought Hearth and Hand would have them but they do not so hopefully walmart or somewhere else has them or if anything i'll just check on amazon but i'm not seeing any okay target was a success got a couple small things there i think last stop of the night is going to be walmart just because i'm looking for those ornaments so i'm really hoping that walmart has them if not i'll just again go to amazon but fingers crossed that walmart has them we have about two hours before the stores close so i think we'll be fine i realize i haven't been into a walmart in well over two years but they have an entire christmas section here So got distracted at Walmart, found a Christmas tree for the office, now need to figure out how I want to decorate it. Alright, these are the ones we're getting. It's a four foot pre-lit Canadian cashmere tree and they're only $35. Everywhere else we've gone today, all the trees are this higher, like a hundred plus. So this is actually a really good deal. Don't have too big of a haul from Walmart. I am getting the Christmas tree and I got some ornaments, but I will need some sort of tree skirt or covering for the bottom and a tree topper. And then I didn't find any little pillows that I liked, so I will probably just check on Amazon to see what they have. All right, I'm gonna give you guys a haul of everything I bought. Just know that I 100% forgot about the budget. Um, and I did feel a little ridiculous bringing all this stuff inside the house just now, but at least I know that I spent too much. And also, a lot of the stuff was like half off from Hobby Lobby. A lot of stuff was discounted. I tried to also buy some things that weren't like super expensive. Like even the things that I bought from Target were like, I think the most expensive thing I bought was 15 or 20 dollars um everything else was like five ten dollars some things were three dollars so i could have been worse is all i'm gonna say but i'm gonna give you guys a haul starting off with the big things got the big wreath from hobby lobby i just got a basic one because i'm gonna be putting little christmas trees and some ornaments around it and this is just gonna go on my dining room table i also like that it has the acorns in it already um, so that adds a little bit of extra decor to it. The sad part about this, th when I was bringing all this in, is that a lot of the stuff that I bought is for decorating the new furniture that I've bought within the past like two months that just hasn't gotten here yet. And everything is not getting here until pretty much end of next week. So I can't even really begin <laughs> decorating until everything's here. But other big item that I got, just got a little four foot Christmas tree. This is for my office. I do still need to buy either a tree skirt or just something to cover the bottom of this and also a tree topper. But I got some ornaments and I like to keep my trees a little bit more on the like basic side, I guess. I just really like seeing the Christmas lights like come through. I don't like to stuff it with too much stuff. So I just got some ornaments and I think the amount that I got should be fine. I just got one box that brings, I think, 40. And I'll show you guys that in a sec. I then also got these two little branches. Just one that has some berries and then this one's just a basic one. I also just got a nice big candle. It smells so good. It smells literally like a real Christmas tree. So this will go downstairs to make the house smell like Christmas since I don't have a real Christmas tree to make it smell like that. Okay, so this is gonna go on the table with that garland. So these are the white Christmas trees. I also bought two more from Hobby Lobby. I am running out of counter space here. This one will probably bring soonish, but it was only $3. I'm thinking she's gonna go either on the little shelves behind my reading chair or on my bookshelf. So these are the other little Christmas trees that will go on the table. These ones have a little bit of sparkle to them, so they're just slightly different. The last thing that is gonna go on that table that I bought were just these candles, and then I have some gold candle holders that we'll put under them, so very warm, very cozy. 
This stuff is definitely for my office, so just some more little Christmas trees. These are some gold sparkly ones. Got the big ones, got some little ones. Actually, I think I brought the big ones to come downstairs and the little ones for my office. Also, I just got this little wooden snowflake. So the vibes are very neutral, warm, cozy, if you haven't gotten that yet, but I did want to have a little bit of sparkle too, which is why I got some of the little sparkly items. I also got some napkins for, again, our dinner table. These ones have a little bit of sparkle in them. I don't know if you guys can tell, but they're just so cute. And it came with a set of eight. And then this bad boy, I am actually so proud of this find. This is a full marble Christmas tree. Look how beautiful she is. And it was only $13. From home goods i love her i love her this was this is my favorite find of the whole day and these are going to be the christmas ornaments that i'm going to put on my little baby christmas tree upstairs so these are just the gold candlestick holders that i bought for the table as well um and then both me and tamia got this book it is just another little holiday romance book how my neighbor stole christmas it sounded really cute there was some pick dating some like competition christmas competition happening i think i'm gonna do a reading holiday uh, books video at some point during either end of November or December so watch out for that and then our last bag and actually just last item in general is just a little green sparkly Christmas tree that is the whole haul I am so excited for the holidays this is literally the season that I thrive in and I'm so excited that I have this new place that I get to decorate I'm just I'm so excited. Uh, I'm also planning on doing Vlogmas in December. So ton, a ton of content coming out because again, this is just my absolute favorite season and it just makes me so excited. But if you guys stayed this long into the video, thank you so much for watching and hearing me ramble about decor. I love you. Please like, comment, subscribe, do all the things and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.